black holes are invisible and have so much gravity due to their extreme density that even light cannot escape their pull. They're even the most dense form of matter known to mankind, but what's inside of one? It's important to know how a star works before we go any further. A star undergoes a process similar to an atomic bomb's explosion inside its core. This is because of many particles that gravitate towards each other and start forming a larger and larger structure in space. These particles, mostly hydrogen because of its abundance, eventually form a mass so large that the gravity in its central core starts to change the hydrogen atoms. The hydrogen atoms are basically forced to hit each other more, similar to the gas particles that hit each other more when the space between them becomes less when they are pressurized. Once the hydrogen atoms start hitting each other enough, the temperature of the center of the star becomes hotter and hotter until nuclear fission and fusion occur. Fusion is when atoms merge to form heavier atoms, and fission is when the atoms are separated into lighter atoms. By the way, fusion in stars is thought to be the way we got all the other elements. Both fission and fusion take place when the heat of the star's core is enough to make the hydrogen atoms slam into each other hard enough. So at this point, the star is in a similar state to our suns. But how does this relate to black holes? Well, eventually, after millions of years, it becomes harder and harder to keep the star up to temperature as the hydrogen atoms fuse to form heavier atoms that take more energy to get moving. Because movement of higher temperature atoms keeps the atoms further apart, the star ends up collapsing into itself as the gravity pulling everything towards the center overwhelms the lower temperature atoms. If the star is a smaller star, or less than one and a half times larger than the sun, it will turn into a white dwarf star that has the repulsion from electrons in its core atoms pushing each other apart enough to counteract the force of gravity. If the star is slightly over one and a half times the sun, it will turn into a neutron star with more density that is able to break past the electron's repulsion and only has the core atoms neutrons pushing each other apart. However, once a star starts to cave in on itself that is over three times the size of the sun, the star decides to shoot out a bunch of its mass to have less gravity and become one of the two top stars. This shooting out is called a supernova. Stars over 25 times the mass of the sun end up not being able to shoot out enough mass during their collapse and turn into a whole different thing, a black hole. Physicists have determined that the entire mass of the star that created the black hole is put into an infinitely small point at the center called a singularity. The darkness we see around the singularity is actually just the gravity of the singularity pulling in all the light. The dark space is termed the event horizon. The truth is that we don't know exactly what is happening in the point of singularity. The warping of space-time caused by the immense force of the black hole has some theorists speculating that we could even teleport or time travel through one. So maybe in 30 years we could be using the qualities of a black hole for energy or even time travel. 